Hello singers! Today we are here in this breathing setting <laughs> but uh, we are going to read O mio babbino caro. So let's start. O mio babbino caro. You try. So be careful because here you could hear somebody saying oh mio babbino this is for singing you know but this double m which is supposed to be there doesn't have to be a real double m the one you write when you write in italian but it is just a sound a little sound that can be heard very soft and short. So be careful because it's not O mio babbino caro, which is not elegant at all, but it is O mio babbino caro or O mio babbino caro. O mio babbino caro. Okay? O mio babbino caro. Never forget to say the last O of the sentence, okay? You try. I read, you try. O mio babbino caro. You can notice how many O's you have in this sentence. So the main vowel here is obviously the O. Let's do it again. O mio babbino caro. You try. Ok. Mi piace. You try. Mi. Mi. Piace. Ok, let's divide in syllables, which may help a little bit. Mi. Pia. Che. This C is like check, 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 same C, okay? So, mi piace. Mi piace. Here we have a funny thing, which is difficult even when you speak Italian. Mi piace, with closed E at the end of piace, and open E afterwards. So you have... Mi piace è bello. You try. Again. Piace è. So, mi piace è. You try. Let's do it fluently. Mi piace è. This is not easy because you have e e linked together. So you have to do this movement. Mi piace e. The funny thing is that when you will sing, you won't do that. <laughs> Mi piace e bello. It will become something very... Mm, you won't hear really the difference. But the thing is that you have to know that there is this distinction between the two E's. So, mi piace è bello. You try. Bello. Again. Okay, lots of very famous singers in the past and also today, they pronounce this bello a little close when they sing because of the technique. And it's okay, but you have to know how it sounds when you speak. So you are not going to do this bello, bello. You cannot do that. It's bello, okay? Vo andare. You try. Let's divide into syllables. Vo an da re. You try. Careful with the R. Re. You try. An da re. 
andare. Vo means vado. And uh, vado means I go. You can hear the difference between old Italian and spoken Italian, nowadays Italian. So it's vo andare. I am going to go, it means. We are not saying that. We just say I go now. And we say io vado. But here you have vo andare. Vo andare. O. Vo. You don't have to say vo. Vo andare is not good. Vo andare. Mm. Vo andare in porta rossa. In porta. In porta. When you sing, you will happen to uh, feel the need. When you, when you put the in and porta together, you will hear the N sounding quite like an M. Importa. It's not importa because importa in Italiano is another word. It means importare. So it has another meaning, completely another meaning. So you have to be careful because this in, in porta, it's not in porta. It's terrible. This thing is terrible. It's a nasal. In porta. In, mm, 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 mm. Like dun, 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 when you do scat singing. I know you don't scat a lot because you're classical singers, but maybe you have practiced sometimes. So it's like um, inside, in, 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 inside, the same N. So it's a nasal and you have to say importa, no, not importa, okay? In porta rossa. This is difficult for you for the R, maybe, so let's practice a little bit. In porta rossa. You try. Again. In porta rossa. Again. You can hear the double S here. It sounds so just. Keep the rhythm of the sentence. sentence. Vuoi andare in Porta Rossa? Porta Rossa. Porta Rossa. It's a matter, matter of rhythm. Don't doubt. It's not Porta Rossa. Here it's not double R at the beginning of Rossa. Hmm? It's in, in Porta Rossa. It's a very slight R, the R of rossa, ok? A comperar l'anello. A comperar l'anello. Again, R. A com pe rar la nello. A comprar l'anello. E. A comprar l'anello. E. You do. Sì, sì. Ci voglio andare. Sì, sì. Don't say sì, sì. Because this is a name. And it's another thing. This C, C is yes, yes. So you will say C, C. Two words. C, C. So you elongate the E. C, C. C, C. Ci voglio andare. Again the rhythm. Sì, sì, ci voglio andare. Careful with the sound Y. Yeah. Y, yeah. this is a sound that is also difficult for Italians sometimes. Because certain Italians from certain re regions of Italy, they say um, voglio. <laughs> so they have to practice it too. So try Y, yeah. Y. Yeah.
It's the GL sound. Je voglio. Voglio. Si, si, ci voglio andare. Si, si. Si, si. You. Ci voglio andare. So you elongate the O before the Y, the sound Y in the word voglio. And you do voglio. Voglio. Don't do voglio. I know this is a difficult sound, but you don't have, don't have to make it long. So just do the O and then yo. Voglio. You try. Very good. Andare. Hmm? E se la massindarno? Yeah, here we have the word indarno. This is a very old word. We are not using it a lot in the spoken language. But when you hear singers singing it, um, they don't pronounce the consonants here, probably because of the melody. I'm quite sure about that. It's very difficult here. So the vowels are have the power here. Let's pronounce it as it has to be pronounced. And when you are going to sing, you will do what you can. But as usual, as I always say, you have to know how the spoken language sounds. If you practice it a lot, it's like practicing the left and the right hand while learning the piano separately. You learn the spoken language, you learn how to sing, and then you'll put everything together and it will be perfect, okay? So, se se la massi darno. E se la massi. This e se is long e and then se. These are two words. E se. You do it. La massi. Si. Again, rhythm. La massi. Okay. In dar no. O. This is a closed O. In, dar, no. The opposite as the O that we have practiced before for, for the word vo. Vo. Okay? This is closed. The other one was open. And then, next sentence. Andrei. Don't say Andrei. Andrei. E. An. Mm -mm. Again, the nasal, you can hear. An. It's not anadre. Please don't do that. Not anadre, but it's an nasal, which helps also with the mask, so with the resonance. So it, it's good to do this nasal. An. Re. E. You do it. Then. Sul, Andrei, sul ponte, ponte. Careful with the T, 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 it's not T, T, it's T, 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 ponte. Clear, but not strong as a consonant. Vecchio, vecchio. Here you have a double, the double C here, which is a uh, suspend sound, as we called it before, and uh, let's feel the rhythm of how long it lasts, okay? So you are, won't have da um, doubts about that. So, vecchio, vecchio, vecchio. You have to keep the silence for a short time, just keep the rhythm of the word. Vecchio, you do it. Okay, so it's a silence, and then just at the end of the word you will say kyo, kyo, try, kyo, kyo, ve, kyo. So you ha when you sing, it's the vowel that lasts, ve, kyo, ve, kyo, okay? Ma per buttar minarno. Again, a lot of R's here. Ma, you. Per, 
you. Buttarmi. Again, the double T is like the double C. Buttarmi in Arno. The old sentence. Ma per buttarmi in Arno. You can hear that the two words buttarmi and in become one. Buttarmi in Arno. And then it's like having just the N between buttarmi and Arno. And you will say buttarmi in Arno. Try buttarmi in Arno. And feel the rhythm because you have a double here, the double T. So buttarmi. Terminarno, ma per. It's not ma per. Don't say that. And uh, if it sounds to you like a double P, it's okay because it's ma per. But it's not ma per. Please be careful. Hmm? Ma per buttarminarno. Okay? Buttarminarno. Mi struggo. Here you have a double G. Struggo. Struggo when you sing. But when you speak, it's struggo. So, mi struggo. Mi struggo. E mi struggo. You. Again. Silence, suspense sound. Hmm? Suspense, silence. <laughs> so, struggo. You try. Mi struggo e mi tormento. Again, here we have e mi tormento. The all words are put together when we speak, always. So, not only in Italian, of course. So, let's put them all together fluently. Mi struggo e mi tormento. All this M here are wonderful for the resonance, aren't they? So, mi struggo e mi tormento. Careful with the O, always pronounce it, always say it. Even, even if they are at the end of the word, arno. Tormento, struggo. They are not easy to be sung at the end of the word sometimes, but we have to let the audience hear them, okay? So, mi struggo e mi tormento. You. Okay, here we have, oh Dio. Oh, it means, oh God. So, um, maybe for the melody, maybe for the interpretation itself of this very sentence, maybe for religious reasons. Uh, you will hear lots of Italian singers saying this D of the word Dio, of the word God, very soft very sweet. So if you feel it as a double, it doesn't have to be strong. Even because you have to consider that in Italian we have another word that is spelled O, double D-I-O, o Dio, which comes from exactly this sentence, O Dio, but it is another word. So it means, oh my god, <laughs> same thing, but it is another word that you don't have here. So you have O Dio. Oh, Dio. You try. Oh, Dio. You try. The other word I told you of, it sounds oh, Dio with a double and it sounds different and it is very, it is not good here as a sound for the melody. So don't say that. Say oh, Dio. Long O. Oh, Dio. Okay? Vorrei, double R, vorrei, vorrei, you. And the, the E here is E. Vorrei, vorrei, 
you try. Vorrei morir. Morir. Rrr, you try. Rrr. Again, in this sentence you have a lot of O's. So, odio, vorrei morir. Vorrei morir. So you have a mo between vorrei and morir. A mo. This is the link between the two words. A mo. You try. And now together, vorrei morir, the rhythm, vorrei morir, you, you. Then the melody makes you elongate a little bit, the E, the final E, so vorrei morir, or the O, okay? And Eventually, we have babbo, which means father. Babbo. Double B. Ba. Bo. Ba. Bo. Long E, waiting for the B when you sing. When you speak, you don't do that. You don't say babbo. No. You say babbo. Babbo. With this sound that is making you understand that there is almost going to be a bee, you know, so babbo, babbo, you do it, babbo, okay, so babbo, pietà, pietà, mercy, father, mercy, so babbo, pietà, pietà, don't say pietà, or pietà, ta, ta, no, pietà, pie, Stress on the last A, okay? Like a French word. So, babbo, pietà, pietà. Very good! So, I really hope you found this video useful. So, if you liked it, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Don't forget that it is very important to have a life coach or a personal coach. So if you need, you can contact me on Skype by email. So you can write to me by email or on Facebook and we can get in touch with Skype and have personal lessons. If you like, write a comment and a request about an area or whatever. And uh, if you want to support my online project, please donate on Patreon and PayPal. So, good singing everybody, good work everybody. Bye bye!